this week's What's for Dinner. This week, we are making an easy meatloaf. Hunts makes a meatloaf sauce. Didn't know if y'all knew that. Oops, I'm already losing some of it. Anyways, on the back of it, it actually has a recipe. Very simple. It calls for, let me read it to you. Two pounds of ground beef, which I have two pounds of lean ground beef. Then you take this, um, you use part of the can of sauce. You use um, two eggs, one cup of quick cooking oats or dry bread crumbs or cracker crumbs. We are gonna use these quick oats here. I just got from Dollar General. And then it also calls for a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper, but I'm also gonna put some garlic and some onion powder in it. So that's what we're about to do. So here we go. I'm gonna All right, your cameraman's about to leave. Oh, my son's leaving. Uh, just make sure you, if yes, you- Yes, half the sauce, that's what I was making sure. All right, so if you wanna show it, bring it over here because okay. it's not the same anymore. Okay. So this week we are, I didn't do a grocery haul this week because the only thing I bought was four packages of hamburger meat. I bought some milk and some buns. Last night we had chili dogs, which I did not show because I figured it was just chili from a can and was nothing spectacular. So I didn't show it. But I thought this was, I didn't know if, just in case someone didn't know that you could make a very easy meatloaf. And that can of stuff doesn't cost very much, so. I like your original meatloaf better. My son was not very happy. He wanted me to make another one. But I was trying to use what was in my pantry because um, we're on a budget this week. And so that I actually have that can. It's been in there for a while. Now I'm going to put my one cup of oats. Quick oats. Sorry, guys. You don't have any chicken talk this week. Yeah. I guess Frost can do beef talk. I don't know. No, I'm about to leave. He's about to leave. He's eating a pimento cheese sandwich because he wanted a snack. You know how teenage boys are. They're always hungry. And then I'm just going to kind of throw some garlic in there. Even though it's already got seasonings, I just like garlic and onion. And I'm always wearing a sweater because I stay cold all the time. And y'all, meatloaf, you just cannot do with a spoon. You got to get your hands in there. And just that's kind of gross. I know. Is it gross to you? Comment in the set in the comment section down below. What comment if you think this is gross? <laughs> My that son wants to know. Be... Comment in the section. Comment section. Not <laughs> com comment in the section. Which section? The like section. The subscribe section. Leave a comment in the. Comment, comment section, section below and let me know, is this gross to you? Or do you think this is just time saving and sitting here with a spoon forever trying to mix this up? It's just like, I have better things to do than sit here and try to stir with a spoon. God gave us these hands to use. What do you think they did back in the old days before they had spoons, they had to make their meatloaf? Well, at one point in time, we also had tails, but hey. Really? Yeah. That, why do you think you have a tailbone? I don't know. Like cats have a tailbone. Well, Dogs have a tailbone. Okay, my son, the science kid. I, I don't we know. also had um, uh, two different eyelids. What? Yeah. Have you ever looked in the mirror and saw the little bitty part in the corner of your eye? Ew, no, I just That's that. the second eye, your second eyelid, but we've evolved so much that we don't need it. Why did we need it in the first place? Because we were outside a lot more. Oh. We were more, we were primitive animals. 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 An animals. animals. <laughs> oh, my son. He's so funny. I love him, though. Can I guess we are doing beef talk for a little bit? Yeah, see, now we're doing beef talk. We're going to have us a cow. Moo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Now, here's what I do. I have a, like, 9 by 13 pan. 9 by 13. You set that real fast. Nine. You got a number 13? A 9 by 13 pan, y'all. And then we're going to take this. This is the way I do it. You know, I know there's, like, oh, first of all, I put this foil in here because it makes cleanup much easier. Then I'm not having to scrub. Well, I'm and lazy. then, hey, I mm. hate dishes. If I can make mm. something easier... Oh, I could make it easier. I could use my 
dishwasher that I grew in my stomach for nine months, Bryce David. Goodbye. Look, now he now he wants to run off. <laughs> anyways, um, Bye. anyways, so instead of using a loaf pan, I just use this pan and I make my own little like loaf. And the what this instruction says, you're gonna place it in there and you're gonna bake it uncovered for an hour. You'll remove it from the oven and there will be some grease probably. You can drain that grease and then pour the rest of the sauce over the top and bake another 10 minutes. So you're looking at a little over an hour to cook, but it's really good. And like I said, it's very simple. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven, let it cook for an hour, and then we'll come back and put the sauce on it and finish it up. And y'all see, um, I told y'all there would be a little bit of like grease in here and there's hardly any. So I'm really not even gonna worry about pouring that out because half the time when I do that, I almost spill it everywhere. So now I'm gonna take the, the other half of this can and I'm gonna pour it on top. And like just kind of spread it over the meat. And like that. And yeah, there's some grease in it, but like I said, it'll be okay. All right. Okay, y'all, there is the meatloaf. And we made, these are instant mashed potatoes, just corn and green beans, and just gravy from a package, brown gravy. And the stuff my husband just picked up, these are called mustard pickles. His mother made these. And they are amazing with a meal like this. He's about to pop them open. I was going to show you what they look like. I just can't show his face. Mmm. <laughs> look at those. Yummy. I'll show you everybody else in a minute. Okay, Bross. What do you think? I know it's not the meatloaf that I normally make, but how do you like it? Is it pretty good? Mmm. <laughs> what? Tastes better with ketchup on it. <laughs> what about you, Kiki? Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. Adrian, how do you like it? There you go. <laughs> no. So you don't like the meatloaf? Say or we do. <clears throat> no. So you don't like it? Or are you just saying that because your brother? No. You don't like it, but he ate almost mm -hmm. everything already. I don't like it because that... It's not the same meatloaf. They like the sauce I use on my other meatloaf, but okay. My husband's plate. There's my plate. See, here's these he mustard pickles. Mm, you eat them with some potatoes like that. Ooh, y'all. We good. will sneak them in one day. Yeah, you get to see his arm. <laughs> on today's What's for Dinner, I am going to be making some noodles that my mother-in-law makes. I have no idea what they're called. Um, she is Mennonite. I don't know if this is necessarily a Mennonite recipe or not, but what it is is you take spaghetti noodles and I always break mine up in like half. And I think I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna do the whole package. Anyways, and you just kind of put them in on a pan and I'm gonna put these in my oops, toaster oven and toast them. I'll check them and kind of stir them around and I'll show y'all what they look like in just a minute. Chop up some onion and bell pepper. I'm gonna use my little chopper thing here to dice it up. I have, huh, that's not gonna be enough. I had a little bit of onion in the refrigerator. kind of toasted but that's not enough so I'm gonna um, put them back in there and let them toast some more okay in the meantime I'm gonna cut this bell pepper okay y'all 
I've got my bell pepper and my onion. I'm gonna put it in here with a pound of lean ground beef. And we're going to, I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper first. And put a little bit, I like garlic powder, y'all, y'all know. Some garlic powder. In a little bit, I'm gonna add some more seasoning too, but for now, that's what we're gonna start with. So we'll let that start to cook. I'm gonna check on these noodles. So I'm gonna get a bigger pot, and we'll put some hot water in here. And I'm just gonna get these noodles out. There's a few noodles in the back that are underneath, I guess, that didn't toast, but that's okay. I'll let y'all see over there. Here, I'll show y'all a little better. See how they look. But anyways, we are fixing to put those into this back pan. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that water to boil first. And I'm gonna add some salt. Put the water in. And now I'm going to use this here. I'm going to put a package. I'm going to see if my husband thinks I need to put two. I'm going to put one in for now. In case I didn't say, the back over here, I'm going to let this water come up to a boil before I put those noodles in it. Okay, y'all. It's boiling. So, I'm going to start putting these in, and maybe I should have gotten a bigger pan now that I look at it apart, but it'll be all right, I think. <laughs> I can eat so long. noodles are. I'm fixing to put some more seasoning in. I have um, this stuff here. And I'm going to put probably a tablespoon to begin with. Maybe just a little maybe a tablespoon, almost a half. Next, I'm going to take this one here. It's chicken flavoring. That other was tomato. We're going to put a good, probably one and a half, and put it in here with these noodles, and one other thing I'm fixing to add, is V8. basically done. I'm going to take a little taste of this just to see. Mm. Needs a little more seasoning. I think I'm going to put one more package, one more package of this. Okay y'all, here is the meat. I have it just seasoned up and here is the noodles I ended up adding I forgot to show y'all some whipping cream at the end and what we're gonna do is we will take these noodles and put this meat over it it's gonna be good and I have some homemade bread that my mother-in-law made okay y'all it is finished this I don't know if it's exactly a Mennonite meal but it's one my mother-in-law makes so we have those toasted noodles that have the seasoning and everything in it this bread, y'all, is homemade bread that my mother-in-law made. I just heated it up, put some butter, and then there's the hamburger meat. And that's all we're going to have. I'll show it to you in just a minute when we eat it. Okay, here's how we did it. We put it, the noodles, and then the meat, we mixed it up. I didn't. What do you think about it? 
It tastes good. It doesn't taste as good like Grandma says, though. <laughs> well, of course not, probably. What do you think, Courtney? Yours tastes just as good as Grandma's. Are you no. sure? I don't know about that. What do you mm -hmm. think, Adrian? You lied to yourself. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Hot. Honey, does it taste like your mom's or is your mom's better? No comment. <laughs> I tried. White girl tried. Mm -hmm.